Namaste, Mananam Anjali Hai. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Today we're going to watch a video from Weon, actress Drew Barrymore, who's one of my favorites, on India's COVID crisis. Um, and we know she's not the only one that has spoke about this. Yeah. Um, we know we've been on here praying and, um, you know, sending money to PM Cares and lots of prayers, but, you know, Bhagwan Ram and, and Krishna, they're not going to save you. Prayers, we can use all the prayers you can get, right? Mm -hmm. But you have to take action yourselves. You can't blame Modi G, um, you know, because of the elections, if you went out to the rallies and didn't wear a mask. You, right. You know, it it has to come back on, on the people. You know, when Modi did the lockdown last time, people were complaining like, oh, he was so mean, he shut everything down. We were outside some people's doors. Right. With sticks, like yeah. telling people to get inside. And like, okay, we don't want complete shutdown, but you have to, have to only do what is essential. And if your job is not essential, stay inside. Yeah. Right? School. Right. Virtual. Everything can be done virtually nowadays. Like, there's so much stuff you can do virtually. There's no need. Food, you have to go, go. But other than that, you should be locked in your house. There should be yeah. no elections, which thank God they're over. Don't, right now, you just can't do get social gatherings. You have to assume. Assume that everybody in the room, everywhere you go, has COVID. And you're going to get it. If you don't keep six feet away from them and you don't have your mask on, less like that you go with other people, the better off you are. Yeah. Another thing is, like, you can blame China for the virus itself because right. that's where it came from, but you can't blame China for the spikes. You have to blame yourself for the rallies or when you didn't wear a mask or who you interacted with. Right. You can't go to somebody's funeral who had COVID with a bunch of people not wearing masks because you're upset. We know India is emotional. You know how emotional we get about this. Like you can't, you just can't like here. They're not even letting people when, when our spikes are back, you couldn't even go to the hospital to say goodbye to your loved ones. No. And I know in India doctors were getting beat for that, but you cannot go to the hospital to see your loved ones that are dying from COVID. Like, and you can't have a huge gathering. Nobody's wearing a mask. You know, we heard that somebody had a funeral and I think daddy said like 20 people or 25 people died after the funeral from COVID because they all went and everybody was together. Like, Right now, the only thing that you can do is help everybody else by helping yourself. Like, yeah. social distance, wear a mask, do anything you can virtually. And Modi needs to figure out what is considered essential, like food and doctors. And everybody else needs to keep their freaking butt inside and lock it down. Like, do it virtually and just get through this. Like... We are sending all the prayers we can send, but, you know, we know like Sona Sood was doing a lot of work too. Right. Helping food, helping the migrant workers, like everybody can't be Sona Sood. I'm sure Drew Barrymore, she is a famous actress. She's been acting for forever since she was a kid. I'm sure she sent lots of money to India and whatever else she could and her prayers, like only so much money can do so much. Only so much prayer can do so much. Like, Bhagavan Ram cannot save you if you think that you go to the rallies the, and without a mask on or mm -hmm. protest the farmer protest without a mask on. Like, it's getting as bad, if not, it's getting worse than how it was here in the U.S. Yeah. And it's scary. So... All right, let's see um, what your Barrymore's uh, message is to India. 
Now, the ongoing COVID-19 crisis in India has garnered global attention with support from all corners of the world. Hollywood A-lister Drew Barrymore too has shared a personal heartfelt message dedicated to the people of India. And in an exclusive video shot on the set of Drew Barrymore's show for Z Cafe, the actress makes urges people to have faith because there's light at the end of the tunnel. Here's what she had to say. Hello, everyone, and namaste, India. This one is a special message to the people of India. A lot of you guys already know my deep-rooted connection with the country and how I've always loved India for its culture, its people, and so much more. It truly holds a very special place in my heart. In my visits, I've met so many wonderful people who have truly inspired me as a person, which propelled me to write a chapter in my book, too. Today, as we cope with the worldwide situation, my heart goes out to the people of India who are trying hard to hold it together and my sincere wishes and prayers to you to stay strong and believe that we will come out stronger together. I came across a couple of articles online that truly invigorated a sense of faith and positivity in me, like a 110-year-old COVID-19 survivor in India, or how a man donating his entire life savings towards relief. Countless people, celebrities, and organizations are coming together and pledging support. People starting food centers and relief groups and this is truly the need of the hour. A small contribution could really help and make a giant difference and even save a life. I'm doing my bit and I urge you to do whatever is in your capacity. And most importantly, I'm sending you a lot of love, healing and prayers and faith and the light at the end of this dark tunnel. Namaste, thank you so much and all of my love. This was a really nice message from Drew Barrymore yeah. um, for her love for India, which I didn't know about. This is kind of nice to hear that mm -hmm. um, we're not the only ones. There's a lot of love going around out there. A lot of people are donating, and we've heard a lot of different celebrities talk about it. I mean, you can't turn on the news without hearing about India's COVID crisis, honestly. Yeah. It's gone big like, yeah the spike is huge and i think almost everyone can everyone's heard about it everyone's seen it so yeah and pictures and images um we just want it to get under control and come back down like we want and pray that you know things get better in india because when it happened at first we were so worried about india and and at the beginning, guys, we're doing so well. And I, I, we blame the political rallies a lot and not social distancing a lot, but this is just like crazy and you have to take it seriously. You cannot, cannot leave your house without a mask. And if you don't have to go anywhere, don't. You just yeah. can't. It's not worth it. And it's not just about you. Like the lady in the car that was yelling, like she didn't have to wear a mask. She was with her husband and she was going to do whatever she wanted. Like those are the kind of people that don't care if, you know, they're not thinking like what I do is going to make 50 other people die. Like I think mm -hmm. if they put that connection together, they wouldn't be doing it. Right. Yeah. It's whoever you interact with. So you get it. How many other people you went to in that shop get it? Whoever interacted with that person that you interacted with gets it. Like, right. it just spreads. Like you said in the beginning, to think that everyone has it. Think that everyone has COVID. Yeah. Family members. Doesn't matter. Everybody. Think everybody has it. Yeah. Wear the mask. Social distance. You have to do it. You have to do it. Like, our prayers every day are coming your way. We send all our YouTube money is coming, you know, to PM Cares. We, we have our GoFundMe up and running. You know, we're trying to let people know through our channel, our friends and family, but we can only do so much. You really right. have to point the fingers at yourself and say like, if I get, if I get it, you know, you can't be around anybody else. 
you can't let your family come. You know, we literally locked down. We have not visited people. We have not. We go shopping for what we need. We come home. And a lot of times just my husband goes or just I go. You know, wear layers and we get home. We strip layers. We shower. Like, but only go out for essentials. Like, we're not doing any fun stuff. We're not going on vacation. We're not going shopping at the mall we're not going out to restaurants we're not going you know on vacation to the nice beach or to disney and i'm gonna say it sucks <laughs> it sucks being stuck inside but all of us have been healthy since lockdown yeah and that is the one thing that i thank god bhagwan ram everybody that is the one thing that has kept us and if we can do it, so can you. Like, stock up on food and only go out when you need to. Virtual, virtual, virtual. Wear a mask and assume everybody has it. And yeah. please don't go to the hospital, a funeral, if you don't have to. Go there because you are the one that's sick or dead. Yeah. Just don't do it. Like, it's not worth it. Like, if I think... If the person who passed from COVID knew that 50 people came to say goodbye and 49 of those people died from COVID, like that, that probably person is devastated. Like, yeah. Like, they don't want to die from COVID knowing that everybody else went to their funeral and died. And died from COVID. Like, and I, and I don't want to see it as a setback either. Like India has been doing so well so well and like we were all excited about like made in india and things were doing so good and now it's a crash but yeah. you can get back in the game i know you can we can get through this we're sending our love our prayers us other countries are sending oxygen and raw materials and whatever let's just keep going but you have to do your part too Please, please, you have to do your part. You have to assume that everybody else has it. And when you go out, you have to assume that you are going to give it to somebody else. And the people you interact with may die because of your mistake. Yeah. You don't wear a mask and some your friend's child dies because you didn't wear a mask and you gave them COVID. Maybe you don't have symptoms, but you have it. How bad would you feel? Like... Just do it. That's the one thing about the vaccine is I think people think it's a cure, but it's not. And yeah. parents are getting it, but kids are not. So parents are not being as safe as they are, especially around the kids. Mm -hmm. And maybe they don't have the symptoms, but then the kids are getting it because their parents aren't being safe. Yeah, we're getting that trend here. People think they have the shot. They can not wear a mask and hang out with other people. And a lot more kids are getting COVID than before. Um, that and the schools think that they can open back up full capacity and, you know. Two people at most are virtual. Yeah. I, I just don't. And until we get back where there's like a decent vaccine and the numbers are controlled, this is the new norm. Like yeah. keeping some social distance, wearing a mask, this is the new norm. Like you just got to get used to it. Like, as much as we want to come to India and eat every piece of street food, I think, I don't know if that's going to happen the way we used to happen mm -hmm. unless things get better. And I think COVID's here to stay, unfortunately. So do your part. Do your part. Do what you can. If you can donate to some of these organizations that are doing great things, do it. If you're the one that needs help, the, the most you can do to help yourself and everybody else is to stay home and wear a mask and social distance, social distance. Yeah. That's the best thing you can do. That will save a lot of people. So whatever you can do, do it. And we keep our prayers coming to India. Yeah. And hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye.